Hello and welcome to Elite Rounders YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going over one hand our plate sent to Discord chat. So I thought this would be like nice way to actually review the uh, hand uh, on YouTube instead of like just writing something on Discord. Um, I do think this is almost more effective in a sense. Uh, so either way, you who opens like under the gun, Ace King, he he has one flatter. Uh, Flop, flop, flop is pretty decent, queen, six deuce with uh, heart flush throw. You would decide to check here. I, d I don't think it... To be honest, I, I think any option is going to be very profitable here. And this hand is just beautiful on this flop. Um, so going by check is fine. Uh, going by bet is fine. Uh, I don't think there's like... Going bigger size is fine. Going smaller size is fine. I, I don't really see like... You can kind of like mix it up here, I don't mind, um, in a sense. Um, so again, you don't actually see the bet size, but it's like 33% roughly, 1,400, something like that. So you decide to check raise, which I think makes a lot of sense here. Uh, we have all the over pairs, basically, which cut off pro lags here. So I think it makes a lot of sense that if we build our range, like... Uh, in terms of if if we build our range like checking most of our range uh then we definitely should have a lot of check raise range uh so i think it makes sense you can also like think about it more like you have bluff catching range if you just check and you bet like different types of hands but i don't know i i still think it's more fun to like play in a, in a way that people can't really know that you're capped or not so you can still have like aces sometimes when you check call here uh, so I think it's nice to play a little bit like tricky, sneaky sometimes. So, sorry, this, this is just wrong. It shouldn't say all in, I guess it's because I've gone through this hand. But either way, the villain calls. So the turn is now four spades, uh, which doesn't really change anything. It doesn't really hit villain range too much. Uh, other than if you have 3-5 preflop, which is pretty un unlikely. Um, so the turn is kind of interesting card in a sense like... Uh, now you have decided to bet like a uh, little bit over half pot, right? So the question here is like it's not like you're making him fold on this t turn betting like half pot almost anything, right? So let's say he has preflop like jacks, tens, nines, eights, sevens, even pocket fours, threes are probably continuing the flop if they have like three of heart in their hand or four of heart. Like I mean they could potentially continue. I don't know. Uh, it, it would depend on the player if they fold those or they would continue, but they could maybe continue. Um, so even pocket fours they could still have, so that that's another set on their range basically. I do believe people would have all the sets here, deuce of sixes, uh, in their flatting range, meaning they have deuces and sixes. Yeah, so the turn is kind of funny because I don't think you are folding, like... The turn is not going to be profitable bet in a sense of like he's not folding anything in terms of like is he going to fold enough to make profit on this turn no i guess to that i think my answer is no i don't think he's going to fold anything on this turn if he has plus throw he's going to call if he has pocket sevens to jacks he's not going to fold so i think actually this kind of turn you want to bet kind of smaller actually and then like maybe like rip the river or something uh, because like the, a lot of hands likes to call this turn but love to fold river so that makes the river stuff more profitable and basically turn is just to make our story like you know believable by betting <laughs> but, but basically the turn itself is not really profitable um, it's kind of interesting situation so the so the river is jack of hearts um, so technically a pretty decent hand other than Villan can have like any combo like I think the suited combo of Queen Jack suited. I don't know if people will play Queen Jack off. Um, if they play Queen Jack off that's obviously a uh, worse situation but I, I don't think you like people automatically call from cutovers under the gun Queen Jack off so at least I don't think it's 100% flat for people population. Um, I think some people will, some people won't, so so that's that's good thing. But I think they do have all the suited combination of Queen Jack, so 
that's another thing he hits and potentially now if he did call the turn with Jax he hits that so few few more combos make it I, I guess in a sense uh, but again if the river is um, if you can make Villan fold on river like king queen ace queen um, queen 10 uh, and then we can make him fold like 10s, 9s, 8s, 7s, 5s this becomes pretty profitable because again like when you look at the blockers here um, king queen is blocked um, so the, the, I mean I'm talking about the flushes now like only he only fastest villain really has here is like ace high and then he has something like 10 9 of hearts 8 9 of hearts 7 8 of hearts 6 5 hearts i don't know how low they go maybe 5 4 of hearts um as well um but yeah so they technically uh they don't have too many flushes it's like only the ace highs because like all these broadways they will flat like king queen queen jack queen 10 uh king nine uh king 10 they're just blocked basically by by you um so it is pretty interesting situation so there's not too many flushes so it's kind of nice spot to shove because you're probably not getting called like very often by uh with a flush like when you look at it uh there's not too many flushes like and some of these combinations, V-Lines might just um, shove the flop, for example. So maybe there's not even that many combos, but yeah. Um, in the end, I think it's going to be very, very good bluff. Uh, if the villain has all those like 10s, 9s, 8s, 7s, 5s, 3s. If not, it's going to be more break-even-ish. Uh, so either way, I think, I think you're safe to shove this. Uh, I think it's fine like in the best case scenario you're probably not losing money but if you see the guy is snap calling you with ace queen or king queen then you probably made terrible bluff but that's something to note on the guy if he can lay down here a top pair you know um, it's some no it's noteworthy probably fun player who doesn't care um, but I think any reasonable player would just lay down top pair in this spot because yeah, it, it looks like a spot where you don't really have too many bluffs. So the, this would be one of the bluffs you could have, so I think it makes sense. So I kind of like the way you played this hand. Uh, I think the turn bet is good. Uh, just to induce that, like, good reverse up with the size we have left. So I, th I think it makes sense. Like, um, in terms of bet size, maybe on river you would like to have a little bit more behind because, like, of course, now the bet is just roughly, um, how much is it, like 57%. So in order to put a bit more pressure to his top pairs, maybe you would like to have just a little bit more uh, in the bot left. So maybe the flop check raise could be a bit, tiny bit smaller. Uh, this could be maybe a tiny bit smaller, but again, this like, in a sense, like if you're just looking at like things like this way. 5,400 I don't know I don't see like it could be like 3.5 x I I think I I don't exactly see what is the yeah but it could be like 5k it like marginally smaller that already makes the pot smaller so check rate bit smaller turn like half pot reverse off so then we are getting at least that 60 percent 65 percent maybe uh bet size on river I think that would be perfect uh, now we are maybe leaving like too little for villain to fold like People just look at like, oh, it's too cheap price, I guess I call. Even though people don't really think, <laughs> they don't really think in terms of like how many bluffs you have. They just look at the price, basically. Uh, but yeah, I think overall pretty well played hand. I think it's cool shove. Um, and we, we got called here with ace three of hearts, which makes sense. Um, and pretty unlucky in, in a sense run into this but again yes the ace of heart blocker would be probably the best here because you block the most uh flash combos with that i believe that would be the best so there's still like if you block the asex it's so huge part of like cut off landing range um instead of like people do flat this king x some but it's not really that many combinations uh 
uh, in the end. So it would be nice to have the Ace of Hearts in this case when bluffing, but otherwise I think it's still a good bluff and I think it should make money so I wouldn't worry, worry about it too much. Um, I think it's still extremely important to find bluffs in spots where most people maybe don't find the bluffs. So I think nice hand and it was fun to review.